Nothing is more honorable than a grateful heart. This quote from Zeno of Citium, the founder of Stoicism, captures the essence of his philosophy. Zeno was a Phoenician merchant who moved to Athens at the age of 30 and established his school at the Stoa Poikile. He taught his philosophy until his death in 263 BC. While Zeno's philosophy has been the subject of study for centuries, there was much to be learned from his life as well. Unlike the idealized image of the Greek philosopher, Zeno was an ordinary person with no extraordinary abilities. However, he created a philosophy that has influenced leaders and thinkers throughout history. Zeno of Citium was a Greek philosopher who lived from 334 to 262 BCE. He spent most of his early life in Citium, a city on the island of Cyprus working as a merchant. As a young man, Zeno was interested in philosophy and studied under the philosopher Crates of Thebes, who was a follower of the Cynic school of philosophy. Zeno also studied under the Megarian philosopher Stilpo. At the age of 30, Zeno moved to Athens, where he began to develop his own philosophy. While in Athens, he was exposed to the teachings of other schools of philosophy, including the Academy, the Lyceum, and the Cynics. Zeno was particularly drawn to the ideas of the Cynics and the Megarians and he began to develop his own philosophy that incorporated elements of both schools. Zeno's philosophy, which came to be known as Stoicism, was based on the idea that the universe is governed by reason and that people should live in accordance with nature. Stoicism emphasized the importance of self-control, virtue, and the pursuit of wisdom. Zeno attracted a following of students who were interested in his philosophy, and he established a school in Athens where he taught his ideas. Even with the popularity of Stoicism, Zeno's school was not without its critics. Some philosophers disagreed with his ideas, and there were also rival schools of philosophy that were competing for followers. However, Zeno was able to establish Stoicism as a distinct school of philosophy, and his ideas continue to influence philosophy and other fields to this day. The Cynics, a philosophical school that emphasized living a simple life in accordance with nature, had a significant influence on Stoic thought. The Stoics adopted some of the Cynics' views, such as their rejection of material possessions and their emphasis on living in agreement with reason. However, the Stoics also drew inspiration from Plato's philosophy, particularly his notion of the forms and the idea that knowledge and truth can be discovered through reason and intuition. Thus, while the Stoics shared some similarities with the Cynics, they also incorporated ideas from other philosophical traditions, including Plato's. While Zeno and Plato shared a deep interest in philosophy, their philosophical perspectives and approaches were quite different. Plato's philosophy revolved around the existence of an ideal world beyond the physical realm, where knowledge and truth could be discovered through reason and contemplation. In contrast, Zeno's philosophy was grounded in the belief that the universe was deterministic and rational, and that individuals could live virtuously by accepting the natural order of things. Moreover, while Plato emphasized the importance of abstract reasoning and the pursuit of knowledge, Zeno believed that philosophy should be used as a practical guide to living a virtuous life. Facing their differences, both Zeno and Plato were highly influential in shaping the course of Western philosophy, and their ideas continue to be studied and debated today. The Stoic ethos, formulated by Zeno, is a key concept in Stoic philosophy. It refers to the way in which one should live their life, guided by reason and virtue. According to Zeno, the goal of life is to live in accordance with nature and to fulfill one's duties as a rational being. The Stoic ethos teaches that one should cultivate self-control, rationality, and moral excellence in order to achieve inner peace and live a fulfilling life. Zeno's experiences played a significant role in the development and popularization of Stoicism. He was known for his simple lifestyle and his commitment to virtue and reason, which made him an influential figure in the philosophical community. Zeno's teachings attracted a diverse group of followers, including scholars, politicians, and everyday people. The Stoic school grew in popularity throughout the Hellenistic period, and its teachings continued to influence thinkers for centuries to come. The Stoic philosophy places great emphasis on self-discipline and the mastery of one's own desires and emotions. Zeno believed that living in accordance with nature meant living a disciplined life, free from the distractions and disturbances of material wealth and pleasure-seeking. According to Zeno, it was important to cultivate a sense of detachment from material possessions and to focus on the development of one's inner self. The Stoics believed that discipline was something that could be cultivated through a combination of rigorous mental and physical training, as well as by engaging in philosophical contemplation and self-examination. They believed that by practicing self-control and exercising discipline, individuals could achieve a sense of inner peace and contentment, regardless of their external circumstances. This emphasis on discipline and self-mastery continues to be a central tenet of Stoic philosophy, and remains relevant in the modern world. Despite being the founder of the Stoic school of philosophy, 
Zeno's legacy is often overshadowed by that of his successors, such as Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus. However, Zeno's contributions to philosophy were crucial in establishing the foundations of the Stoic philosophy. He introduced the concept of the Logos and the doctrine of living in accordance with nature. Zeno's school of philosophy also greatly influenced the development of Roman law and was highly regarded by many Roman emperors. Zeno's school of Stoicism had a significant impact on Western philosophy, and his ideas continue to resonate with thinkers to this day. One of the main tenets of Stoicism is the belief that individuals should focus on controlling the reactions to external events, rather than attempting to control the events themselves. This was formulated by Zeno as the concept of ethos, which referred to an individual's character and moral fiber. Zeno believed that by cultivating a strong ethos, individuals could live virtuous lives and achieve a sense of inner peace and tranquility. Zeno's school of Stoicism gained popularity in Athens and eventually spread throughout the ancient world. Many influential figures were drawn to the Stoic philosophy, including the Roman emperor Marcus Aurelius and the playwright Seneca. However, the school also faced significant criticism, particularly from the rival school of Epicureanism. Critics accused Stoics of being overly austere and of denying the importance of pleasure and happiness in life. Zeno's legacy as a philosopher and teacher continued to grow after his death. His ideas inspired many other prominent Stoics, including the philosopher Epictetus and the statesman Cicero. Zeno's emphasis on personal responsibility and inner strength also influenced other movements throughout history, such as the Renaissance and the Enlightenment. The main difference between Stoicism and Epicureanism lies in their views on pleasure and pain. Stoics believed that one should aim for inner peace and live in harmony with nature, while Epicureans believed that the goal of life was to maximize pleasure and minimize pain. For Stoics, pleasure was not an end in itself, but a byproduct of living a virtuous life, while for Epicureans, pleasure was the ultimate goal. Furthermore, Stoics believed in the importance of duty, self-control, and living in accordance with reason, while Epicureans advocated for the pursuit of individual happiness and freedom from external constraints. These fundamental differences have led to Stoicism and Epicureanism being seen as antagonistic philosophies, with each criticizing the other's views as misguided or wrong. The popularity of Stoicism can be attributed to several key factors. Firstly, Stoicism offered a practical philosophy that focused on how to live a good life rather than purely intellectual pursuits. This made it more accessible to the common person. Additionally, the Roman Empire, particularly during the reign of Marcus Aurelius, embraced Stoicism as a means of unifying the empire and promoting virtues such as duty, self-discipline, and respect for authority. As the Roman Empire declined, the influence of Stoicism began to wane. However, the philosophy was revived during the Renaissance by figures such as Michael de Montaigne and Francis Bacon, who were drawn to Stoic ideas of self-mastery and ethical living. In the 20th century, the philosophy experienced a resurgence with the works of philosophers such as Albert Camus and Jean-Paul Sartre, who were influenced by Stoicism's emphasis on personal responsibility and the power of the human will. In conclusion, Zeno of Citium was a significant figure in the history of philosophy, particularly in the development of Stoicism. His teachings and philosophical concepts greatly influenced not only his contemporaries, but also future generations of thinkers. His emphasis on self-discipline, inner peace, and the importance of living a virtuous life remains relevant today. Although his name may not be as well known as other Stoics, such as Marcus Aurelius or Epictetus, Zeno's contributions were crucial in establishing Stoicism as a major school of thought. The legacy of Zeno and the Stoics continues to inspire and challenge us to live our lives in accordance with reason, virtue, and a sense of purpose.